Hi, I'm Jill Annenberg Lawrence, and last week we talked about how to use your kitchen table for a full body workout, but we only did half of it. Haha, -ha, I tricked you to watch me again. Okay, this time we're gonna be focusing on the lower half. So the first one I'm gonna start with is for your hamstrings, your ass, and your lower back. You're just gonna lay across the table, get your mind out of the gutter. We're not going there in this video. If you are a beginner, you're going to hold on to the table to stabilize yourself. From the floor, horizontal keeping everything engaged, keeping your legs completely together. Now, if you have a bit more core strength and lower body strength, we're gonna start it from here and then pulse it up. I would say do about 10 repetitions. You'll definitely feel your lower back start to fatigue. Now, if you're thinking, Jill, I got this. I do lower back stuff all the time. Cool, prove it. Lift your hands off the table and we're just gonna pulse. Kind of what you've heard called Superman's. Now this will work your lower back, your butt, and your hamstrings. I like to wear short shorts, but in order to do that, you have to work out your legs, especially your quadriceps. So right now we're gonna do step ups. You just grab a chair and literally guess, you step the up up. I like to do each repetition on the same leg so that your leg is getting a little bit tired. Now if you want to add a little ab into this, contracting your abs, Jabbing that knee up. Jabbing the knee up. Like you're ha! kicking somebody in the face. If you have a bench, which I have a bench and I love it, it's the same exact move. It's probably a little bit more stable. So when you're doing these exercises, make sure that your chair legs are not gonna give out on you, unless you have a video camera there to catch it. Because if you fall, I wanna see it. Okay, so now for the last exercise, we're gonna work on our abs because you can't have a healthy back without having a strong core. So we're gonna do leg lifts. We're going to begin sitting down. And that's the great thing about having a table is there's many different heights. So whatever fitness level you're at, you can do this. If you've been injured, if you have been sick and have no working out, if you just had a baby, congratulations by the way. Take it from a seated position, no judgments. You just wanna just get your body moving. So all we're doing, legs together, lifting your legs up, straight back down. Lifting your legs up, straight back down. If by chance this feels a little tough for you, go one leg at a time. One, two, three, four. Anybody can do that. Get grandma to do it. Okay, now say you're thinking, I have a really strong core. I want something more advanced. Awesome. Sit up on your table, jacking your knees up. This is a little bit less weight because your legs are bent. Now you want to make it a little bit harder. Straighten your legs. Don't kick the dog in the face. That's what makes it harder. Just straight up and down. Now this engages your hip flexors, which is this muscle right in here. So if you ever did need to kick somebody in the face, those muscles will be ready for you. If you guys want to do leg press in your house, I would say lay on your back. We're going to place our feet under the table and just lift the weight of the table. I'm just kidding you guys. We're not lifting the damn table. I'm Jill Annenberg Lawrence. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you liked this video, like it. My dog is loving my camera woman right now. Shaky hands. Come here and love on mama. Follow me on Twitter, Jill Annenberg Lawrence. <laughs> Stalk me on Instagram. And just keep working out with whatever equipment you got. Love yourself. Just go one leg at a time. If your dog is annoying, tell him to shut the fuck up. Just kidding. I love him. So, sounds like I'm farting.